Hi, and welcome to day 16 of Beer and a Take. Uh, I'll be taking you through uh, a beer here and with my take about the Hall of Fame. Today's beer that I'll be reviewing is from Oma Gang Brewery in Cooperstown, New York. It is, it's called Everything Nice. It's a limited release uh, for the season of Christmas. It is a strong blonde ale with seasonal spices and is a 9% APV. My take today is about the Hall of Fame since I am drinking the Omegang uh, Brewery, uh, which is located in Cooperstown, New York, the same place, uh, birthplace of baseball, as the Hall of Fame. Um, first off is that Gil Hodges, Jim Cott, and four others have been elected to the Hall of Fame through the Golden Era Committee and also the Early Era Committee. Which brings me to my next point is that this year's Hall of Fame class features Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens on their last time on the ballot. Uh, we also have some other several names that would be that's on the last time that they will be on the ballot. We also see a first time name of David Ortiz and Alex Rodriguez. The reason why these names are significant is because these are all steroid era players. Uh, the Baseball Writers of America have given them a hard time about putting steroid era players into the Hall of Fame, especially guys like Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens. Other notable names that have not gotten into the Hall because of the possible allegations or the admission of steroid use, Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa are the reason why baseball is still around now. After that lockout, if it wasn't for that home run chase, the chase in Roger Maris between McGuire and Sosa, I don't think baseball would have survived a lockout in 1994. Furthermore, guys like Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, and Alex Rodriguez probably would have been in the Hall of Fame if they had not used steroids. They all had great talent, they all were great players. They just used the steroids to make themselves even better. Barry Bonds used steroids because he was jealous and he was getting pushed to the wayside. Seeing guys like McGuire and Sosa reach just notoriety. And we know everyone loves dingers and we all know chicks dig the long ball. Hi, Tops. Chicks dig the long ball. Also, I'm not gonna go too far into this, but come on, enough is enough. Put Pete in the hall, do it. While tasting the Everything Nice limited release beer, you can definitely taste that, that strongness of its 9% alcohol. So there's, <laughs> there's definitely a strong taste to it when, as you're drinking it. Stronger than most blonde ales, which are very light. This might be a little bit heavier. While tasting the beer, you definitely have that ginger, a little bit of cranberry, a little fruity flavor to that, that blonde ale, which is great. It's all those Christmas flavors that makes you want to uh, enjoy it during the Christmas time. That's it for my take and just about it for my beer. Um, as for everything nice, the seasonal Christmas beer that uh, Omegon Brewery puts out every year, um, I'm gonna give it give it 3.4. It's very good. I love that Christmas seasonal spice to it. It makes me feel like Christmas, and that's what I like when I have my seasonal beers just around Christmas time. This is definitely gonna be crushable and fun to drink during Christmas Eve, Christmas Day with the family. So uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and happy Hanukkah.